Ever wondered how to analyze stocks for investment? Today, you're in for a treat. We're peeling back the layers on the art and science of stock analysis. This powerful tool can help investors make more informed decisions, maximizing their chances of success. It's all about understanding a company's value, predicting potential future movements, and making the call to buy, sell, or hold. Stock analysis isn't a crystal ball, but it can give you a clearer view of a company's financial health and potential. It's like having a magnifying glass for the financial market. It involves meticulous research, financial acumen, and a dash of intuition. From dissecting a company's financial statements to decoding market trends, stock analysis is a fascinating journey. So buckle up for a journey into the fascinating world of stock analysis. First, we delve into the realm of fundamental analysis. Imagine you're a detective and your case, uncovering the intrinsic value of a company's stock. Your first stop, the industry. Get to know the landscape, the trends, the competition. It's like getting the lay of the land before you start your investigation in earnest. Next, you're going to want to know your subject, the company, inside and out. What do they offer? How do they make their money? Who's steering the ship? Think mission, vision, and long-term prospects. This is your deep dive, your chance to really get under the company's skin. Now, it's time to dig into the numbers, the financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. They're your treasure maps, guiding you to nuggets of information about revenue, expenses, profitability, assets, liabilities, equity, and cash flow trends. Don't forget about the people in charge. Evaluate the management. What's their track record? How do they communicate with shareholders? How are their strategic decisions shaping the company's future? Once you've got the facts, start assessing the prospects. What's the growth potential? How does the company's market share look? What competitive advantages do they have? Are there any exciting catalysts on the horizon like new products or expansion plans? Now comes the tricky part, stock valuation. Calculate metrics like the price to earnings ratio, the price to book ratio, and the dividend yield. Compare these ratios to industry averages. This will give you a sense of whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued. But it's not all about the numbers, you also need to analyze risk. What could potentially go wrong? Think about risks specific to the company and industry as well as broader geopolitical, regulatory, and economic factors. Finally, keep your finger on the pulse. Stay informed. Keep track of news related to the company. Monitor quarterly earnings reports and updates. Fundamental analysis. It's like doing your homework before a big test. Because in the world of investing, knowledge is power. Next, we step into the world of technical analysis. Technical analysis is like the heartbeat monitor of the stock market. It focuses on historical price and volume data, allowing us to predict short-term price movements. The first thing we need to do is decide on a strategy or develop a trading system. We can use approaches like moving averages, candlestick patterns, or trend leans. Whichever one we choose, it's crucial to stick to it, creating a disciplined trading plan. Now, there are two main approaches to technical analysis, the top-down and the bottom-up. The top-down approach starts with a bird's-eye view, analyzing the economy and sectors before zooming into individual stocks. On the other hand, the bottom-up approach dives straight into individual stocks, focusing on their fundamentals and technical signals. Both approaches have their merits, and it often depends on personal preference. Next, we use chart patterns. These patterns can be the key to unlocking potential price movements. They're like constellations in the night sky of the stock market. Some common patterns include the head and shoulders, double tops and bottoms, and triangles. These patterns can signal potential price reversals or continuations. We can also leverage technical indicators. These are like the compass and sextant for our stock market journey. Moving averages, the Relative Strength Index, or RSI, Mackey D, and Bollinger Bands can provide us with invaluable insights. These indicators work best when combined to confirm signals. Finally, we have volume analysis. Volume is the heartbeat of the market. It indicates the level of market participation. High volume during price movements can validate trends and give us confidence in our predictions. Remember, technical analysis is not a crystal ball. It's a tool like a weather forecast. It can't predict the future with certainty, but it can give us a good indication of what might happen. And just like checking the weather before a picnic, it helps us make informed decisions. Technical analysis, it's like reading the weather forecast before a picnic. Now, what happens when you combine fundamental and technical analysis? 
Well, that's where the magic happens. You see, each approach brings unique insights to the table, and when used together they offer a comprehensive view of the stock market. Fundamental analysis, as we've discussed, helps you understand the intrinsic value of a company's stock. It's like peering into the soul of a business, understanding its mission, vision, financial health, and long-term prospects. It's about getting a feel for the company's standing in its industry and its potential for growth. But fundamental analysis largely focuses on the long term. On the other hand, technical analysis is all about timing. It's like reading the pulse of the market. By studying historical price and volume data, technical analysts can predict short-term price movements. This method is especially useful for traders who want to capitalize on market volatility. So, when you combine these two approaches, you get the best of both worlds. You have a long-term perspective from fundamental analysis which helps you choose companies with strong prospects. And you have the short-term insights from technical analysis which can guide you on the best times to buy or sell. But let's clear one thing. Combining fundamental and technical analysis is not about finding a magic formula that will always predict the stock market accurately. Such a formula doesn't exist. Instead, it's about equipping yourself with as much knowledge as possible to make informed decisions. And let's not forget that the stock market is influenced by a myriad of factors, including geopolitical events, economic indicators, and even public sentiment. So, while these two analytical methods can provide valuable insights, they should be used as part of a broader investment strategy that also considers these external factors. Moreover, combining these two methods requires time, effort, and a fair bit of experience. But don't let that discourage you. With practice, you'll get better at interpreting the data and using it to your advantage. Remember, stock analysis is not a one-time task, but an ongoing process. Stay curious, keep learning, and adapt your strategies as needed. As you continue to sharpen your analysis skills, you'll be well on your way to making more informed and potentially more profitable investment decisions. Before we wrap up, here are some practical tips to keep in mind. Remember, the world of stock analysis is vast and ever-evolving. It's important to stay curious and keep learning. Markets are dynamic, and so should be your strategies. Adapt and evolve as you gain more experience and as market conditions change. Firstly, do not let emotions guide your investment decisions. It's easy to get swayed by market euphoria or panic, but these emotions can cloud your judgment. Stay objective and stick to your analysis. Secondly, diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spreading your investments across different sectors and companies can help mitigate risk. Thirdly, patience is a virtue in investing. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a profitable portfolio. It's important to have a long-term perspective and not get disheartened by short-term market fluctuations. Fourthly, always keep an eye on the bigger picture. While it's crucial to focus on the fundamentals and technicals of a specific stock, don't lose sight of the overall market trends and economic indicators. Fifthly, never stop learning. The best investors are perpetual students of the market. Read books, attend webinars, join investment clubs, and keep abreast of the latest news and trends. Lastly, practice makes perfect. Use virtual trading platforms to hone your skills before diving into real-world trading. This can provide invaluable experience without risking real money. In conclusion, stock analysis is a blend of art and science. It involves understanding complex financial data and interpreting market psychology. It's a skill that demands patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn. Remember, there's no foolproof formula for success in the stock market. What works for one investor may not work for another. It's all about finding a strategy that suits your risk tolerance, investment goals, and personal interests. With these tools at your disposal, you're now ready to embark on your stock analysis journey. Happy investing! Before we part ways, a quick word of caution. Remember, the information shared in this video is purely for educational purposes. It's designed to provide a basic understanding of stock analysis, not to serve as a definitive guide to investment decisions. The world of investment is diverse and complex, and it's essential to note that each investment situation is unique. Therefore, it's always a wise move to consult with a financial advisor or a certified professional before you decide to make any investment. They can provide you with personalized advice based on your individual financial situation and risk tolerance. This way, you can make well-informed decisions that align with your financial goals and objectives. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. 
keep those notifications on so you won't miss our next video. Until next time, keep investing smartly.